For a true French culinary experience with an outstanding view, you're going to want to head to Chez Sophie sur la Pont. You're going to love it. Or should I say, vous allez la main. Today on Megan's menu, we are at Chez Sophie sur le Pont. Joining me is Chef Stefan. Now, he is going to teach us the art of French cuisine. So, Chef, we're starting with some frog legs. Yeah, today, frog legs, yeah. And so, we are just going to watch him master this beautiful dish. So, we have our frog legs here. We have uh, three frogs. And um, we're going to watch him bread them and fry them. <laughs> okay, I'll let okay. you go. Okay. Just a little bit salt. Salt, okay. Salt, pepper, garlic, on the side, salt, salt, pepper, and garlic. And into the flour. So we have our salt, pepper, and our garlic. He's dredging them in some flour right now, which will really give it that crispy texture on the outside of the frog legs. And I know when people try new things, they always say it tastes like chicken. Frog legs have a much more, in my opinion, sophisticated taste than chicken, but it's definitely a delicacy and something you should try if you come to Chez Sophie. Finish. Finish. <laughs> Finish. A uh, little bit of butter, oil. The side. Oh, and it's okay. It's ready. Fog is ready. It's good, crispy. It's okay. Up next, I'm going to be tasting the frog legs. Here we go. So this is a classic French appetizer. I guess French dinner, really. Dip it in. Yep. Dip it in. Down the hatch we go. Baby's first frog legs. Mmm. <laughs> The breading is perfect, golden brown, nice and crispy. Yeah. Good job. These are awesome. If there's one thing I can say that I've never had together, it would be chocolate and salad. Up next on the menu, we are making a black salad. Now, the chef has created this beautiful salad, and apparently there's some chocolat inside the salad. So we are gonna watch him create this interesting salad. Okay, so chef, let's see you make the salad. Okay. We have salad. Yeah, we have our salad right yeah. here in the bowl. We have black chocolate from Belgium. Okay, we have our Belgian chocolate. Yeah. So right now we're just grating dark Belgian chocolate over top of the lettuce. The Parmesan. We're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Voilà. 
about a teaspoon of Parmesan. Vinegar to balsamic. Okay, we have balsamic vinegar. Yeah. This is a dressing we're gonna add. Yeah. Just a balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil. Or, uh, olive oil, uh, moutarde. Mustard. Mustard, uh, salt, pepper. Salt and pepper. And a little bit of sugar. And a little bit of sugar. Yeah. Mélange. Okay, so we're gonna mix it up. Hopefully the baby likes chocolate yeah. salad. <laughs> <laughs> Voila, we are done. We have some cherry tomatoes on the top. And now we get to taste it. Yeah. Fork? The fork, yeah, sure. So Voila. not only will this be my first chocolate salad, it will be the baby's <laughs> first chocolate salad. <laughs> Surprisingly delicious. I love the chocolate on the salad. I never would think to put chocolate on a salad, but it goes really nice, the yeah, flavors. Yeah, yeah. So if you're in the mood for something a little different, come and see the chef at Chez Sophie and make sure you try his chocolate salad. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind-the-scenes footage, and exclusive news. Stone Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204-599-3357. manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. First of all, it's on a beautiful setting. I've never been in a restaurant over a bridge before, so the views of the Red River are fantastic. And I would say this is, in some ways, very traditional French cuisine, but also very modern and contemporary as well. So it would appeal to older people like myself, and as you can see, around younger people as well. Now this is a cheese that is a classic French staple. So we are gonna watch the chef make this delicious appetizer. So here we have a giant wheel of camembert cheese. Yep. And now what do you do once we have the cheese? Uh, du gelé, le fromage. 
whatever he said. We're gonna, we'll, <laughs> sorry, we will, my English is very bad. We will, watch you, we will watch you make the appetizer. Okay, okay. je vais préparer. Yep. Okay. So camembert looks very similar to brie, but it has a much more distinct flavor. Yeah. Un peu dans la farine. So right now he's dredging it in some flour. Dans l'œuf. And then he's putting it in some egg wash. He just broke a couple eggs in the bowl, whisked it up. Now he's dipping it in the egg. Et après, chapelure and de pain. And now we will put it in the breadcrumbs. Et voilà. Voilà. We are, Et voilà. We are done. <laughs> and then we will put this in the oven. In the deep fryer. Deep fryer. In the deep fryer. So we're going to do two minutes of this cheese in the deep fryer, and then we're going to finish it with two minutes in the oven, and then we will get to eat it. Et voilà. Camembert frit. Here we have our camembert. Perfect. So I'm just going to dig right on in here. Fork. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about this cheese. Mm. This is everything you're gonna want and more when it comes to warmed baked cheese. Good job, Chef. Thank you. Très bon. Merci. <laughs> cheese makes everybody happy, especially me. She's okay. Oh, I'm pretty hungry with this cheese. <laughs> <laughs> One more bite. Okay. Mm. Baby's hungry. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next on the menu and in English that means mussels and fries. So here we have our mussels. Have we de-bearded them yet? Uh, yes, yeah. we have. Yeah, we have. We yeah. have. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. No one yeah. likes a little beard on their muscle yeah. when they're eating it. Okay, yeah. so we have our pan here. Yeah. We have our mussels. We're going to watch you assemble this whole dish. Okay. Okay. Alors, un peu d'huile. Okay, a little bit of oil. Is that canola oil? Canola. 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 Yeah, canola. just a little canola oil. Onion. We have some diced onion. We're going to put onion. right on in there. On est un peu grillé. We are going to add the mussels. On met les moules. Mussels are a great thing to order, if definitely if you have a few people, because everyone can get a couple and share them. Voilà. Après, on déglace avec du vin blanc. Okay, a little bit of white wine. Yeah. Yeah. Salt. Salt. Pepper. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of garlic powder. Yeah. Orga oregano. Oregano. Okay. So as you can see, very easy dish, but I'm sure a very delicious dish as well. Thank you. <laughs> so now we're going to cook them up and then we get to try them. Voilà. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you, Chef. It's okay. The cream. Et voilà, it's ready. C'est prêt. Moule à la crème et au vin blanc. Up next on the menu, we are going to be trying the moule frita. Here we have our mussels and our French fries. French fries. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Okay, so let's just dig right on in here. Mmm. Sauce is simple, yet delicious. Nice and creamy. Love the oregano. Yeah. Are you allowed to dip the fries in the sauce? Eat the sauce, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll do a little French dip here. No big deal. Mmm. 
perfectly seasoned fries, nice touch with the mussels. Yeah. And this obviously makes a perfect dish if you're gonna come to chase with me. Next we are making some comfort food. Now this is a French casserole called tartiflette. And right here we have some beautiful Trappist cheese. And this is from a monastery right here in Manitoba. So chef, we're gonna watch you make this uh, this casserole. So can you explain what we have here? Uh, potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes, ham. Ham. A little bit mozza, bacon, Trappist cheese is a cream. And cream, okay, yeah. perfect. So we will watch you make this casserole. Okay. 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 Before, a little bit of that. So these potatoes are already slightly cooked? Yeah, before uh, they're cooked uh, in the oven. Okay. With uh, onion, garlic, salt, pepper. Okay. Yeah. Roasted potatoes, onion, garlic, salt, pepper, nicely sliced up. He's going to layer that on the bottom of this casserole dish. Yeah. The bacon before the little cook. A little cooked? Just, just, just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You don't want crispy bacon. Yeah. You want nice soft bacon. So he's, the next layer, we have some par cooked bacon. Yeah. Who doesn't like bacon? Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Next, coffee cheese. So this cheese is made at the Trappist Monastery by the monks who live there. So I'm curious to see what it tastes like. So we're yeah. just cutting off the edges of the cheese. Yeah. And we're sprinkling the cheese over top of the bacon and the potato. Yeah. We're adding some mozzarella. But mozzarella is, is just for uh, texture. Yeah, just for texture. Yeah, yeah. And it will kind of mold everything together, right? I'm sorry? It will um, melt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together, yeah. Okay. Now we're adding yeah, our second layer of potato. Potato. The cream. We're going to put some cream on. How much cream would you say that you would add? Uh, Half a cup? Half a cup, yeah. Half a cup Half of cream. Half a cup is okay. 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 Half. And we're going to put some ham. A little more Trappist cheese. A little more Trappist cheese. Does this have a very distinct taste? I'm this, sorry? Um, sharp taste, would you say? Uh, Tasty? Yeah. Yeah? You want tasty? Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to compare it to. It has a beautiful, rich taste, um, deep, deep flavor. I don't even. What would you like? How would you describe this cheese? Ooh, strong. Strong, yeah. Strong. Strong, yeah. <laughs> strong. Okay. On a little bit. Okay, so he added some more Travis cheese. Now he's adding a little bit more mozzarella on the casserole. Okay, what up? And Finish. voila, we were done. Voila. So now we're, now we're going to put it in the oven. In the oven for 15 minutes. 15 minutes at what temperature? Uh, 300, uh, 350. 350. Yeah. Okay, so in the oven it goes? Yeah. 350 degrees. Okay. In five minutes in the oven. Tartiflette is ready. Et voilà, la tartiflette. In a few quick seconds, I'm about to try my first tartsy flat. Any second, the chef is going to bring it right over here. Oh, there it is. Hey, bon appetit. This looks hot and delicious. Any tricks on how to eat it? Just <laughs> dig right in? Just, yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's hot. It's hot, yeah. It's very hot, yeah. See the steam rolling off. <laughs> I'm gonna burn my tongue, I know it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese with the bacon and the cream tastes amazing. Yeah, yeah, Magnifique. Amazing. Merci beaucoup, thank Magnifique. you. Magnifique. <laughs> Très bon. Très bon. Is that a good one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Delicious. 
So if you are in the mood for some tartiflette, come and see Chef Stefan at Chez Sophie. You are gonna love it. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind the scenes footage, and exclusive news. Stone Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204-599-3357. manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Flour. We're going to add 500 grams of flour. Translations on the side of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're making our batter for the actual crepe. Five eggs. We're going to add some egg. And crepe batter is one of those things that's very easy to make at home. It's very similar to pancake batter. It's just flat. A lot of people are afraid to dive into the the crepe making world, but honestly, it's easy peasy. And the chef will prove that right away. Voilà. Sugar. Okay, we're gonna add in some sugar. 200 grams. 200 grams of sugar. Uh, one liter of milk. One liter of milk. A and a little, little, little bit of vanilla extract. Yeah. Really, you could add anything you wanted at this point, a little bit of cinnamon, um, but we're going to use vanilla in these crepes today. Et on mélange. And he's going to mix it up. Just like that, we're done. Easy. Perfect. <laughs> easy. How do you say easy in French? Uh, rapide. Rapide. Uh, rapide. Does that mean fast? <laughs> fast, yeah. Yeah, fast. fast. 
straight up beach. Easy, Et facile. easy. Et facile. Facile. That's facile. the word I was looking for. Et voilà. Oh, my French teacher would be so proud of me. <laughs> okay, now we're going to make our finish our crepe Suzette. So well. Thank you. Crepe Suzette flambé. Crepe Suzette. Da! Wow, thank you. Voilà. So here we have our Crepe Suzette flambé. Don't worry, mamas, when you flambé any alcohol, all the alcohol is cooked off, and the only thing you're left with is rich flavor. So now you know where to come if you're in the mood for awesome French cuisine with a beautiful view. Chez Sophie sur le Pont, you're gonna love it. Mm. Call 12 Stone Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204-599-3357. manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you.